let's paint this super cute rain boots and four leaf clovers or three leaf clovers. Mine is like three leaves. So first of all, we are going to use all the greens you can. I'm going to start with my boots first to do, and you can do any color you want. I'm going to do like a grayish, brownish, purplish kind of color. Um, and then we're going to do the top. So I'm going for purple. Oh, my purple is not so purple. Purple. Black. Like light gray. And I'm going to add a little bit of a brown in it. So that's going to be kind of my boot color, like a purple, gray, brownish color. And then I think my, and I'm going to do some gold trim or goldish, and then the green. So get your color, so mix it. Again, this is what mine kind of look like. I'm going to start light. And I'm pointing my brush in the direction. Just mix more. I never mix enough paint. Point your brush right here to the first one at the back. I'm going to go slightly darker, but add some water to get that nice watercolor effect. And mix, mix, mix. Get a little bit more black in there too. Nice. Paint the back boot pretty. Dark, I want to say. I want to make it slightly darker, so I'm adding more black, especially here at the bottom where it's kind of touching. And then because it's wet, it should flow a little bit up. So it normally dries a little bit lighter. So see how it dries, but maybe you wanna go back more, especially where the back one is touching the front one. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit more. It kind of looks very gray, but it's not. It's very hard to show the, the paint. Okay, so I am keep on going. Play around a little bit with water on it so you can get those nice watercolor kind of effects. And there's a few spots. Now, you can paint there if you want to. Leave a few spaces open. Now you want to make sure that you don't have too much water on your brush because that just makes it a bit hard to paint. And leave some spaces that you want to use for the stems. I'm just going to go in here. Like the boot goes all the way to this line. And then maybe that will be enough. I think I'm going to fill those in with green. Okay. Now, it's a little bit wet. And I'm just going to add water right here. And right here on this little, on the toe. Okay go up make sure your lines sorry I was just mixing more make sure your lines are nice and crisp it's 
So go up here, make sure your lines are nice and crisp. But always drop in water if you feel you want to move the paint a little bit more. Let's start from this side. So we want to be careful not to go too close to this. So let's start at the back and start painting around this area. Again, you want to point your brush to this outside line to get it nice and crisp, clean line. Go around your leaf. And add some purple. Okay, and before it dries, make it wet, blend it out, add more paint. We're going to come back and just add these lines in afterwards. So you can just paint over them. Should be easy to add it afterwards. Oh, now I have too much purple. Let's see. No, I can. I guess it's fine. Okay. Dip into your water cup, paint more, especially close to the bottom. You want to have it a little darker. Drag your brush all the way. And pull it in. I like to paint this a little bit more with the wet on wet, so it's a little bit less detailed. But still very cute. Add water, fill it in. So be careful if it's touching the back one. If the back one is still wet, you do not want them to touch. So be very careful. The top. And I carefully try to go around. I can also, as I'm doing this, add a little bit more paint on my brush, make it a bit darker, and just give, you know, like a small shadow idea around these parts. And you can just kind of tap, tap, tap. And if you feel, I just went a little wild. If you feel, you can just kind of clean your brush, blend it in and tap, tap, tap a little bit like this. And then it could be dry or it could be too wet. So let's see what happens if you paint. So water doesn't go if it's dry. So that's how you can maintain crisp lines. But if the one is just a little wet, you will have flowing into the other section issues. And just water drop in can make it dry pretty interesting. I do a little water in here so it kind of flow, more paint. And use your brush, blend it out. I'm also gonna come and make it a little darker right here. That wasn't mixed dark enough. Nope, still not. Yes.
Oh, and then touch your towel, soften that edge a little bit. So make sure you get the drop off your paintbrush. I'm also going to do the same color, maybe slightly darker, so more paint and less water. This inside. And it's like a little one peeking out the right, right there. Kind of looks like a giant bubble letter U. And we made it a little darker, so add more water. So then when we paint this, slightly lighter and you will be able to see the difference. Unless you want to make this a different color, you totally can. So we are just adding a lighter brown, same as the boot color, just slightly lighter. You don't need to mix a whole new one. And you could, you can make this a different color and it could be, you know, you could have made it maybe green or gold. I'm going to use all my accessories for the gold, like the buckle and this and the maybe the soles. So I thought of not going there gold, but maybe you want to. Okay, so I fill it in. I use a little swishy on the side. Oh, it's a little too wet. Never mind. Not doing that right now. Oh, let's see if I can do it this side. So you kind of want to, where the buckle is touching, just make it a little darker. So it looks a little bit more three-dimensional. And then you can just tap, tap, tap on that edge to blend it out. Um... You can also, if you're, so it's always kind of cool to see how it dries because sometimes we just have to wait for it to dry. And maybe you want this section to be slightly darker. All you need to do is be careful not to paint where it is wet. Yeah. I think that looks cute. Okay, I'm going to not paint the green yet in case some of that is wet. And I'm going to start at the source of my boots. I'm going to go for the yellow ochre. So brown, yellow with a little bit of brown to just change the way, you know, the yellow kind of looks. And I'm going to just paint one light color. And again, you can do this with black. So if you want to do this with black, you make a gray. That will be your undercoating, your underpainting, your first paint, your light color. My light color on this one is going to be my yellow ochre. And because they're the same color at the moment, I don't mind if they kind of flow into each other. I am also going to do the buckle. So your brown should be dry for you to do this. But we are not shading yet. So I'm also going to do this U shape detail on my buckle, on uh, my boots. My, it doesn't, okay, I'll get, I can figure that. It doesn't look the same width. So I'll just fix it. Okay, so now my, my boot have the underpainting. Now I'm going to mix a little bit more brown with that color. So 
you need a, a darker brown, but use the yellow ochre as your base and then just add a little bit of brown. You can do normal brown, you can do purple brown. And you wanna get something like this, like a, like a yellowy brown. And then I wanna come and do some detail. So over here, I'm gonna leave a small white or light space. I'm gonna go all the way around. So there's a section where I'm gonna do a lot. And then there's a section over here that I'm gonna do a lot. So I might give it like a little Highlight outline. And then clean your brush. Now, instead of just using water to kind of smooch it in, go back into your yellow so you don't pull away the paint. And blend it in a little bit. So point your brush to that line but then go side to side and kind of blend it in. Then maybe go back into your brown and give a nice, oh, I need more water. So you wanna control the water on your brush a lot because if it's too wet, you, it's going to be hard to paint details. So make sure you don't have it too wet. You can also switch to a smaller brush. Okay, so now it looks a little bit more three-dimensional. I'm going to do the same here. I'm going to make a little skinny, skinny outline. I'm going to make sure that I do this brown all the way to the bottom, especially where they are touching. And then... Blend it out with yellow. And if you pull out a lot and it's still wet, just touch it here without touching each other. And then... Do a little outline. That looks very cute. Okay. We are going to move up to the buckle. I'm going to do where the buckle and this U shape is touching. I'm going to make a nice line at the top and at the bottom and then go into my yellow a little bit. Clean my brush. Touch my towel. Go into some of the yellow. And... Pull it out. Pull it out. I can also do a little here, just so it's matching on the other side. Um, I'm good. I think the buckle should be fine. Let's see, I'm going to maybe just do another darker yellow, yes. And I'm going to make sure that I don't see a lot of my yellow spots, of my white spots. So make sure you fill it in so it's just a nice um, yellow. Just going to move things around so it's a little easier to see. Okay, then my it bugs me a little bit that my U shape is not the same. I'm gonna quickly just switch to my smaller brush and get some of the brown. I'm gonna make sure that I do not have too much water on my brush. Luckily, smaller brushes doesn't keep so many water. And I'm gonna see if I can just kind of pretend drawing, fill it in. Thank you. 
And if I pretend I go over. And then see if we can blend it out. I don't know why it doesn't want to focus. And maybe stick to the small brush and mix a very bright, nice green that you like. Your favorite green. Maybe you didn't ever have to mix it. You just have it. I'm going to just zoom out so you can see. I'm doing a really nice green green. So this is my green. But now I'm going to do some of the stems and I want to just make it slightly darker. So I'm using a little bit of this green. So I mix it here. I'm putting a little bit on the side and I add some purple to that. And it's just going to give you a darker green. And I want to do all like this. And I want to do my stems. So I mix that green, I add a little bit of a purple just to make it darker. And then I put my hand down and I wanna give a lot of stems. I'm using this small brush, but you can definitely switch to whatever one feels good to you. And so I do a feel. I will probably have to come back and make more. Then I am going to go into that first green that I mixed up here, the lighter one. And I'm going to start to paint. And you can switch, to, I would switch a bigger brush because you want it to go a little faster. And it's like little hearts. You still want to control the water on your brush. You still want to not make it too wet. And then when it's still wet, you can kind of touch inside so it can start flowing. And you're going to paint all of them the same way. Add a little bit of this, add a little bit of that, mix your greens. If it feels like you're making them exactly the same and it's very strong, touch your water, drop in some paint and you will see it will flow and change. So I do have a few big ones and then we're just going to, we didn't trace this, but we're just going to add a few more smaller ones in between. So let's paint all of these little guys. And by any time, if it feels like it's easier to paint with a different size brush, you should totally switch.
drop, 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 color in. So they're kind of dry, very cool. And then of course, less details. So you have fancy ones. This one went a little bit in this in the shoe, so make sure you don't see white spaces where it's touching. And maybe even mix a little bit of purple. Drop it in. This is a nice big one too. Make sure you can control the water on your brush. And you can always even go with a little bit of a bigger brush. I drop in water right there and I want to see if I can blend it in a bit. Oh, and I like how it dries. If I can quickly lift up to show you, it gives like cool, interesting ideas. Now, what if it dries a lot like that and that's not something you like? Then there will be ways that you can just add another layer on top. So I will pick one of those and I can show you how to just change the color a little bit. But first, we just have to get it down. Inside the boot, I you want to go a little darker. So blue or purple can make your green darker. And you want to have a whole bunch Kind of waiting, like not waiting, like hiding. I don't know if hiding is the right word. Or peep, peeping out. Different greens. It's okay for now if there's open spaces because we can come and fill it. I'm also just gonna. Do a little darker green blobsy right here. And maybe finish it all the way around that one. So it's green. It kind of looks brown, but it's green. And I'm going to start painting the, the rest that's open, the leaves. Try right, not to paint where it's wet so they don't flow and become a big blob. And water can make it lighter and flow. So now I have a lot. But now what if I want to just have it a look a little tiny bit more realistic? Not that we really want to go for the super realistic look, but a little bit. So I mix a darker green and I do... A little triangle in the middle. And I can clean my brush, suck it up, and I just tap, 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 camera on the bottoms, and I can kind of blend it out. So the bottoms of the middle is dark. So if you have a few big ones, you can kind of do small little triangles. Now that was too much purple. I'm using purple to make it darker. 
and then clean your brush. Suck it up, tap, 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 to blend it out. Clean, so it looks ugly, clean your brush, touch your towel, and then you're just gonna blend it out. There's one more trick we can do when we are done with all of it. So now this is one of the ones where my brush was so wet, it just kind of pushed all the paint away. So, I'm going to come back with my triangles. Clean, suck it up. Just drag your brush along it. Drop, drop, drop in the middle. So try to get the middles slightly darker than the outside. And you may have to visit them again and again and again. It depends on how good you're doing it the first time. So small triangle, small triangle. Clean. Touch, make sure you get drop of, dribble, dribble, make sure you get rid of that drop or else it is just blending. You will just make it the same color again and again if you don't control that. Same triangles. I always have to make small paint. Oh, too much water. And blend it out. And some dog floof. So, even though it feels weird while we're doing this, and it may look a little bit weird while we are doing this, it is for sure still the ugly face where we are not sure if we even like our clovers. They look just weird. But we need to make sure that there's um, dark to light area. So, dark should be in the middle, light should be at the end. Make sure you pray, make your brush really dry before you just kind of smudge it. If you have a lot of open spaces, so that is our other tree trunk kind of peeking out. And I just quickly have to plug in my computer. I forgot to do that. So many wires, so fun. Um, so that is the other uh, boot peeking out. So we can make more green. And so these doesn't have to look like anything. You can just kind of fill it in maybe like a shade lighter or different so that you can just kind of fill in some of these areas at the top. So instead of seeing the inside of the boot, we are just 
putting them pretend they are full of leaves. So fill in any or all open spaces. And then, so we did some detail, but now we can come and we can just give a few more and then just do tap, tap, tap. Or we can just do a few kind of swishes. So you can add a lot, but then a lot of um, clovers, but then you can also come back and, and add a few different, that's a big blob. Yeah, and so if your brush is wet, you may have a blobs. And that's okay, we'll just wait for it to try and add more things. So do tap, tap, taps. This color I almost wanna say should be a bit lighter. So not so defined, not so strong color, a little lighter, just in the background, adding things to just make it feel a little fuller. Tap, tap, tap. Here and there. You can also add flowers if you want to in this way. Definitely add flowers if you want to. Like yellow flowers would be cute. Or... Now, this is a very big green blob. If it doesn't look very big and green to you, I'm going to lift up so you can see very big green blob right here. So how I fix that or change it, not necessarily I should use the word fix, but changing it, you get more paint on your brush out of, or maybe a shade darker. Darker is going to show up, but you can also use the same color you just did, and that should also show up, that will show up. I'm trying to use so little water that it dries up so fast. And then all you want to do is you want to just change, just do a few tap taps on top of that one. And maybe repeat the same color in some areas, just so you break up that big light, you know, that spot. So as soon as you put a different color on top, you are just changing kind of, the way it looks and then it just kind of blends in versus standing out like this light green blobs so that's the same color check on your middles if it feels like you lost a little bit of paint just go back and tap 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 and add them back in you can do a few and then let it dry and then go back and smooch in a bit more. Here I just did on one of those light areas again. And this is the only thing you will see as soon as you add more and let it dry and then add more how it dries and if you really need to do anything else. I'm using this darker color just here and there on my lighter color and I just, you know, add a little ch -ch -ch here and a little chi 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 Yay. perfect i also want to give a little bit of a shadow i'm going to do black and i'm going to add one head of blue to get it like a bluish black something like this so it's black it's just like a tint and pointing your brush to this bottom make sure you touch your shoes and then you can kind of leave it uneven like this or if you want to you can kind of use water in your brush and blend it out but this one feels kind of cute if you have it you know, like a little uneven. Make sure you touch the bottom of your soles. So, and then for fun, 
I was thinking um, to do a little bit of the repeat, a little bit of the yellow. So this is extra and optional and you don't need to do it. Add a little bit of the yellow, do a little swishy here. And then maybe drop in some of the green. Almost looks like a, like a pfft. Explosion. This is very optional. I thought it would be cute if we can add something yellow and green kind of in the background. And I'm just repeating it on this side as well. Oh, they just Drop that drop I always warn you about. And then I'm adding some green. So it kind of feels like it is the same thing I'm doing from the one side going over to the other side, dropping some yellow more. And final, final. I will protect everything around me and take green. Maybe a brighter green if you have. And splat it a little bit. You can protect your drawing by putting a towel on top. And that's it. Super cute.